Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So right now I'm actually in the Ross parking lot waiting for them to open and I didn't realize they actually open a little bit later on Sundays. So I woke up a little too early but I have some downtime before they open but in today's video we are actually shopping at you know TG Maxx so I'm very excited to see what kind of goodies they have over there and we are going to a TG Maxx location that I haven't been to in a while so I'm pretty sure we are going to find some really interesting stuff today. I usually do and it's usually brands that we love like Goo and also you know Michael Kors, Kate Spade and recently I've been finding so many new high-end brands at TG Maxx so if you missed the previous location then highly recommend checking it out but since I have downtime I might as well tell you guys what I got from Duncan and answer a question and of course give one of you guys a shout out then make sure you leave a question down below and if I don't answer your question make sure you copy and paste it and transfer it to the new video tomorrow if that makes sense because I don't go back on the videos and answer questions so just keep copying your question and pasting it until I answer it and if I answered one of your questions already still feel free to ask more questions I mean everything is randomized but look what I got from Duncan this morning you guys it literally looks so yummy and they put like powder on the top it looks really good I think it's like brown sugar I think I don't know but I got a medium ice original caramel craze signature latte with almond milk so the almond milk just makes it less sweet and I feel like the whole milk makes it way too sweet so highly recommend recommend this drink definitely let me know if you end up loving it but let me go ahead and get a sip and then I'll go ahead and answer one question so good I swear but let me go ahead and pull up this question so shout out to Cassie J you said hi Krista I have a few questions what made you want to start YouTube so I wanted to start YouTube because we were told that we were going to have twins and honestly that freaked me out because we were you know prepared to have one baby not two at the same time so I started doing research on YouTube and I found Judy's life where she had twins and I started following her to get a feel of you know what it's like to have twins and at that time mom Family bloggers and family bloggers were so popular and now there's like huge controversies against that but the real reason why I started YouTube is because I just was inspired by Judy's life and also like Aaron Williams at the time where they could show you like the truth about being pregnant what it's like being a first-time mom and having twins so I really wanted to do YouTube so after I had my daughter Evelyn my first baby I told my husband about these youtubers and he was like you need to start doing YouTube and try it out so so I gave it a go. I started mommy blogging. I also did like cleaning routines, also lifestyle type of videos. Like if I would have stuck with cleaning routines only and like nighttime routines, I probably would have went really far, but I stuck with mainly mommy blogging and that just didn't work out for me. I mean, it's such a saturated space and you know what? I'm very happy that it didn't work out because I love keeping my actual life private. I love spending time with my husband and my girls without a phone. I love not having to whip out the camera because I need content. I just love spending time with the people that I love without any, you know, social media, if that makes sense. So I feel like it's very, very healthy. I don't know how family vloggers do it. I mean, you can tell they definitely like stage a lot of their, you know, life. So it's not very relatable. I used to love watching mommy vloggers, don't get me wrong, but now I just don't because I can just tell like it's all, you know, not authentic or raw like it used to be. So it's just a shame, but you know, like it's very toxic space. So I'm very very happy that I pivot into the shopping world but that is where my journey began was mommy vlogging and I'm very proud to even get started on YouTube at that time even though it's not what I am doing now I'm still very happy that I got my foot in the door I got some experience you know recording and editing and now I just love what I do and it's shopping I used to do shopping too when I was a mommy vlogger and those actually got a lot of views too so I should have just took the hint to do lifestyle and shopping at the time but now I'm full-fledged shopper on YouTube but hopefully that answered your question. And the next question you asked is, when did you begin your love for shopping? So I began my love for shopping whenever I started making full-time shopping videos. That's when I started becoming an expert at deals, brands. Like when I first got into this space, I wasn't familiar with high-end brands, you know? So I thought it was a lot of fun. I've always wanted to be a fashion designer when I was younger, but everyone always said that's a pipe dream, go be a nurse or something. That's what I was always told. So I thought I had to be, you know, in the medical field, but I realized 
realized very fast that the medical field isn't for me and I ended up doing you know kind of like fashion because I do shopping right but the next question you ask is and what is your favorite thing to shop for clothes bags shoes makeup honestly I love shopping for clothes I know I barely show that in these stores because I love shopping online but I need to start trying stuff on in the stores for you guys because I have a love for making really really cute outfits and that is why I love shopping and fashion so much so I feel like I definitely need to spend more time with clothes but definitely comment down below what you guys like to shop for the most I would just love to know that answer because I know everyone is different but yeah clothes is definitely one of them and I just love two-piece outfits especially but yeah thank you so much Cassie for leaving questions down below and you guys don't forget to leave a question down below as well it can be multiple questions at least up to three if you really want to but you know what it's finally time for me to go shopping in Ross and after Ross of course I'm going to take you to TG Maxx so I will talk to you guys very very soon Look straight ahead you guys, right when I walked in I see so many Michael Kors purses. This one is definitely new for 130 and the strap is pink, oh my goodness, so tempting. And I see another new one on the other side, of course we need to check it out, oh my goodness, definitely new and so beautiful, don't you guys think? I kind of want this one too, so two shades of brown, it just says MK all over it and it's priced a little bit more for 150 but wow, it's like an extra large purse, hopefully you guys can tell it's so cute and this one is actually the same thing so keep that in mind but look up here this crossbody purse and it's the brand michael kors so i recently found like a cream color and gold one most of these are priced at 100 bucks so really really good deal So I just made it to a section full of pink purses. So they recently got in new Jessica Simpson ones, more of the guest glitter ones, which I have. Highly recommend, so gorgeous for only 40 bucks. And in person, you will see the glitter. I feel like on the camera, you can barely see the glitter, but it's definitely there. And here's a Michael Kors purse, which is so adorable. So like a cream color and gold. Oh my gosh, I love Kate Spade, but we usually find this one all the time. And I recently got this pink purse. If you guys remember, it's literally worth every single penny. So if you guys see anything at all don't forget to let me know I just found the most beautiful Michael Kors purse ever so this one is definitely trendy you get one strap and it's priced at 150 and they also have it in brown as well but you know the pink one is definitely calling my name and they have this purse as well so instead of like light pink straps they have dark brown and down here is Michael Kors and honestly we have seen all of this before so you know I'm only looking for new Michael Kors purses this one is definitely new so it's black and gray priced at 130 so cute And here's another side full of purses. So I always tell you it's super rare to find gray Michael Kors purses. So it's really nice seeing this color a lot now. And it's priced at 130. But you guys, I keep finding this brand over and over again. And this purse is priced at 90. So cute with a boho look during the spring and summertime, especially whenever you go to the pool or the beach. How cute would this purse be? And I really like this brand. So I'm going to go ahead and see how this one is going to look in the mirror. But here's another look, you guys. You also get like a little makeup bag to go with it and you can easily turn this into a diaper bag if you really want to but I love how inside it's red but hopefully they bring in pink ones very soon as well and honestly I remember seeing the brand Dune I also remember seeing like the green purses you know we are only focused on new stuff actually look at this beach bag how cute so if you guys come to Florida definitely buy yourself a really nice beach or pool bag they always sell the cutest ones here and look at this side you guys so they have Valentina there's the even this brand which we usually see it's really really cute can you believe this one is usually 228 dollars honestly it's really hard to believe but yeah they pretty much have all brown purses over here and this location is super organized which i love as well look at this purse very interesting so gray brown and white they have the brand the sack 
Jack and Valentina again. And let's go ahead and see what is down this aisle. So pretty much all pink purses, which we have seen before, but this scarf is actually different than the previous one. So pastel colors, there's Steve Madden. Look at this one, oh my gosh, I love it. Wow, so cute for Florida. And down here they have Anne Klein, red purses, so cute. And of course on the other side they have red purses, which are so gorgeous too. So honestly, the only one that really stood out to me is obviously this pran right here. Really pretty color this time of the year. And it's only 50 bucks, like what? I definitely wanna see how this one is going to look in the mirror too. I'm finding so many big purses. And you guys, oh my goodness. I'm starting to see this brand more often at Ross, Burlington, even TJ Maxx. So I'm literally so happy right now. So here's the first one, you guys. So cute. It's priced at 50. I love the neon one, but honestly, they have a better style at Ross for a little bit more. I believe it was 100. And here, this one is 50. So still really, really affordable. And the other one has neon and pastel colors for the same price. So it looks like this one is very, very popular. Oh my goodness. I love this one too. It's priced at 40. And you know, this brand is amazing as well. So it's green, dark blue, brown, price at 40. Oh my gosh, look at Calvin Klein. They have so many. And I just found this brand again. So it's dark blue, price at 90 bucks. And you guys won't believe this. I just found a blue case paper. So I definitely want to bring this one home. And it's a medium size. So it's priced at $100. Like what a deal. I have to know what's on the other side because I feel like I'm finding so many cute purses. So this brand again, they have black and blue. Oh my gosh, I love the blue, the brown, and the black. And they also have the red one down here. And this one is really cute. You know what? I like this one way more because there's no color like in the front, so it's very simple. I'm going to go ahead and switch this out. But don't forget to let me know which one is your favorite. And I feel like TJ Maxx needs to make bigger cards like Ross. And you guys, look over here. So I just found a huge rose gold one from this brand. Oh my goodness, I'm literally a best. You know what? I like this one way more than the other one. So let's go ahead and switch this out again. I still can't believe I found a rose gold purse, you guys. That is literally so big. And it's neon orange inside. Like, I can't get over this one. It's too cute to pass up on. Oh my goodness, you guys, this rose gold purse is literally so beautiful. And here's my outfit. So I'm just wearing a very light purple oversized, you know, sweater with the bike shorts. I think it's literally so adorable, don't you guys think? So if you're interested in this outfit, definitely check out the link and code down below. And they have other colors too. But purple is really cute going into the springtime. And this rose gold bag is literally perfect. It definitely screams me, I feel like. I mean, it's rose gold. It feels amazing. And it's coral inside. It's priced at 90 bucks, you guys i feel like really really good deal and it also comes with a really big makeup bag it's made in italy and i'm not sure what these usually go for but i'm going to guess like 200 bucks it's really really cute And how do you guys feel about like the size and the style? I feel like it's super long, which I'm usually used to purses being super wide. So very interesting style, but I have to know if you guys plan on picking this one up, but it's only 50 bucks. So what a deal. You can definitely fit like a laptop in here. So I'm going to bring it just because I can fit a bunch of stuff in here. Honestly, this one made my whole entire shopping spree. And I just realized there's more purses on this side. So I'm not sure about this brand, but it's really, really cute. So priced at 130. They also have this style, which honestly I like more because of the top. So you have to press these and it will open up. But what do you guys think for 150? And I'm not sure about this brand, but let's check out the price. So $30 and I see Calvin Klein. I usually find this brand literally everywhere. So 150 and look at this duffel bag, you guys, how cute. And it's from this brand, never heard of it before either, but they want $200 and it feels amazing. So really nice whenever you travel. And and I found another brand hiding down here. So this one is priced at 180 bucks. That is not bad for this brand, I feel like. 
Oh my gosh, you guys, I usually never find this brand at TJ Maxx, so let me zoom you in. They actually have two pairs of earrings, and it's only 13, like, yes, please. I definitely want the one to the right because they're gold, and there's a bunch of bling. It's really, really pretty, but let's go ahead and check out the Valentine's Day set. So, of course, they have Betsy Johnson. This one says XOXO, and it's priced at 13, like, what a deal, and the ring to go with it. Wow, very tempting. Honestly, I really want the ring the most but you guys of course they have case space so two pieces the necklace and the matching you know earrings and i see michael kors again but i'm pretty sure we have seen these before but just in case they're priced at 35 dollars and pretty much everything over here is betsy johnson and you guys look at these so cute their bracelets more earring set and all the way up here they have valentine's day rings again love the one to the far right so a bunch of heart pretty i mean look at the bling it just keeps on going so really beautiful beautiful section and let's go ahead and see what else they have over here so it looks like they have betsy johnson again and the statement necklaces are so sparkly and it's betsy johnson too these are priced at 20 oh my goodness look at that big bling one i'm literally obsessed with the jewelry section like every time i come here i have to look at the jewelry and you guys i just hit the biggest jackpot whenever it comes to michael kors wow there's even rings so i'm not going to lie i really love the gold bling ring do you guys see what i'm talking about so it's priced at $25 and they also have like a rose gold tone one and silver just in case you guys don't like the other two but look at these earrings oh my goodness for $25 and the bracelets are rose gold as well so if you guys need Michael Kors in your life then definitely head into TJ Maxx so many beautiful options honestly it's hard to decide which one I want to get oh my gosh look at this one it's gold the other one has the earrings and the rose gold necklace and all the way up here they have Kate Spade. Wow, so beautiful. So they're green. They even have regular gold studs. Look at this one, you guys. Oh my gosh, a flower necklace and coach earrings that are dangly. I'm literally obsessed with this section. Wow. And what do we have over here? So 14 karat gold. They have the colors pink, purple, regular gold, pearls. Wow. I know these wouldn't irritate my ears. So that's amazing. Pretty much everything over here is 14 karat gold. Oh my gosh, you guys. There are so many. If you guys see anything, please let me know. And actually, look at this butterfly rose gold necklace. I can't get over that one. They also have a smaller one up here. Wow, so pretty. I wonder if I'm going to find Gucci because at TJ Maxx, like the previous TJ Maxx location, I found so many like Gucci rings and earrings. It was literally insane. But look at these butterfly rings. Wow. Only $20. Another great deal, I swear. Like, why look at the other jewelry sets when you can look over here? I mean, I'm finding so many high-end brands for such an affordable price. Like, this one is marked down to $800. I wonder what the carrot is. It's actually from this brand, so let me know if you guys like it. But there's more over here oh my goodness gucci yes so i just found the same earrings here that i found at the previous tj maxx location so this one is 230 look at the other ones you guys so gorgeous i didn't see this one at the previous location but it's only 300 and i can't believe they have a heart butterfly bracelet i have to know the price of this one. Oh my goodness i think it says 300 it's really really cute wow and of course they have the rings laid out so really cute most of these rings are priced at 100 180 and that necklace all the way over there is 250 oh my gosh look at these you guys i wish they'd bring in like rose gold that would be amazing as well but i'm very very happy that i found gucci at this location too so i don't have to drive far if i want gucci and maybe one day they'll bring in like other brands besides gucci oh my gosh you guys these got marked down pretty dang cheap i see some for 215 96 49 like wow what a deal for these brands so on the other side i actually found a bunch of like like Michael Kors watches and I have one at the house but I don't have a rose gold one look at that one you guys it comes with a heart bling bracelet to go with the watch how cute and they even have like a gold one you guys oh my goodness I need to show you like the one that I have but these are actually priced very well I believe they're like a hundred these are usually pushing 300 so in my opinion really really good deal and they have so many you guys and you guys there's Kate Spade like yes oh my goodness there's more watches on this side but I don't see Michael Kors. I see Fossil, which is pretty exciting. And here are some more necklaces. So cute. Wow, there's so much I want to bring home with me now. So 
I'm about to show you a bunch of jewelry over here, but I just realized they have a table and they're putting out a bunch of like Valentine's Day goodies. Look, it says be mine. How cute. And the best part is that I found Disney sets. Wow. The girls don't have their ears pierced yet. Like I want them to pick when they want their ears pierced if they ever want to get their ears pierced. So this one is priced at 13. The other one is silver and gold. But look at this one, you guys. I love this Minnie Mouse necklace and my daughter still loves Minnie Mouse and Juliana is still too young to wear necklaces but I feel like Evelyn is going to love this one it's so beautiful oh my goodness don't you guys love it too I just wish I could find like a frozen one but I'm pretty sure she will love this one she loves jewelry you guys she's just like me and look at Bella and Jack so cute and the boxes are like pink and I just found another Disney one. So same deal, but look at these studs, you guys. Rose gold and silver, so gorgeous. Oh my goodness, I'm literally obsessing over the jewelry today. So there's Lucky Brand. They have like hoops, there's silver and gold, green. And of course they have gold cake, but I feel like I definitely found the best sets today. And I just realized this location also sells Kendra Scott. Oh my gosh, you guys, for Valentine's Day, the gold ones, so beautiful. They actually have two of these here really hard decision there's so many so real quickly let's go ahead and see what else I can find over here I usually find Disney as well but it looks like they have Rachel Zoe Isabella flower earrings but I don't see anything that really stands out to me but if you guys see anything like always definitely let me know So this TJ Maxx is amazing because they actually have a mirror right next to the sunglasses on like other locations. So yeah, this one is the brand Champion. I didn't check the price. So I believe that says 16, which is a really good deal. And usually I don't like Aviator. This one actually feels pretty solid on the face. And I love buying quality sunglasses because I will say once I find quality, I can't stop wearing them. But yeah, don't you guys love these too? They're so cute. I don't know why I said 16. It's actually only 13 and it's not the brand Champion. I thought it was. But I also just found Kendall and Kylie again. So I recently got these at a previous CJ Maxx location. So if you guys see them for $10, highly recommend. And they pretty much have like the brand Guess. And obviously the very small sunglasses are trendy. And this one is Kendall and Kylie. Are you kidding me, you guys? These are literally the cutest, smallest glasses ever. So on the side, they're pretty thick and I just love the shade of red. It's so gorgeous. And I've never seen this pair anywhere else. And I also found another pair of small sunglasses from the brand Kendall and Kylie at the previous CJ Maxx location. So whenever I see Kendall and Kylie, I just go for it because they make trendy clothes, sunglasses. So I love finding their brand here. It's so cute. Definitely let me know if you guys like this one too. Yes, I'm always happy whenever I find the brand and Kendall and Kylie. These are priced at 10 bucks, so very, very affordable. But let's go ahead and go back and see if I can find their brand again. You definitely have to look. So I recently got this one, if you guys remember, at the previous location. I think they're so cute. So it's pink and red. Since I found another pair, I definitely want to give this one to a friend. She's going to love it so much. And it's so hard to find Kendall and Kylie. Many of you guys tell me that. But let's see if I can find another pair. But definitely go for these smaller sunglasses and you know the big sunglasses are kind of annoying whenever you're trying to get a tan so i love the small ones but look at this one you guys from this brand so gorgeous don't you guys think with the gold trim i like them a lot i just wish you wouldn't be able to see my eyes because i feel like sunglasses like this look very funny on but that's just me so honestly i don't see any more from the brand kendall and kylie so actually i am wrong i just found kendall and kylie again so hard to find white sunglasses especially from this brand oh my gosh i have to try these on. These are literally the most beautiful sunglasses I've ever tried on. I just love how they pop and they're not too big. They're literally perfect and I have so many white bathing suits at the house so I'm literally obsessing. Do you guys think these look funny? I'm trying to get with the trends because I usually wear like big sunglasses so I need to start replacing my bling ones for these are so freaking cute. Wow. Love them whenever I go to the pool or the beach. Definitely going into my bags. 
So I just made it to the makeup section and I found the brand Cara Beauty. So we usually find like their eyeshadow palettes, lipsticks, but never like their makeup brushes. So very interesting find price at $5. So really, really good deal. We usually find the brand BH Cosmetics. And look down here, I found the brand Rude. And what is this one? A Midnight Festival brush set? How cute with a brush holder. This one is only $10. Like, yes, you guys, so affordable and super cute. And I also found the brand When Wild. It says Best Friends Forever, so a hydrating brightening primer for only four bucks. I recently got this one, but I haven't tried out the setting sprays yet, so I can't tell you if it's really good. I'm very slow going through setting sprays because they last so long, but let's go ahead and look up here. So the NARS Highlighting Powder, only 13 bucks. I recently found so many of this Stila Moisturizer, and I'm starting to see this brand more often, so the Cream Blush is definitely new, priced at $5. I love the shade of pink, but I can tell someone put their fingers on it like, why? I definitely wanted to bring this one home but I also found the brand Mill. so this one is the lip glaze and these are priced at six super affordable and there's even like Morphe, Marc Jacobs, the brand Dollface so the duochrome dust most of these are priced at four dollars and yes I was correct and up here they have the milk concealers if you can find your shade it's only eight dollars and the Dollface concealer is over here as well priced at four so let's go ahead and move on to you know the eyeshadow palette it looks like they have absolute New York I know we don't really care for that brand, so let's go ahead and move on. Most of the time when it's super cute, it's brands that aren't really the best and they don't have the best like ingredients. They still have like the Christmas ones for $5, Milani setting powders, which I highly recommend. And I mean $4, these are usually $10. There's CoverGirl. And look at this, you guys, so many palettes. But I'm trying to look for the new stuff like always. You definitely have to dig at this location. They still have the Frosé one here. Behind the mask, Cara Beauty. Oh my goodness, how cute. Her palettes are amazing. And this one is really pretty. I love the color story. So it's priced at $10. You get pink, purple, green. Wow, this would definitely take me out of my comfort zone. But I usually don't put eyeshadow on. I feel like I need to start. But many of you guys tell me you like the natural look. But you guys, this brand is really, really good, I swear. And the price point is always great. So only $4. Of course, they have the Jaclyn Hill palettes. Definitely pick it up if you don't have it. We made it to the lipstick so of course they have lipstick queen doll face elf the two face ones up here but i haven't been finding buxom in a very long time so i'm very sad about that but they do have the brand bodyography this one is the electric lipstick they have the colors pink purple a new pink color but this one would definitely wash me out there's the bare minerals plumping lip gloss oh my goodness like what and it's only six dollars like what a deal and it's called head turner you have to be kidding me usually when I find lip plumper it's always like dark purple like colors I would never wear but this one is absolutely gorgeous I've never tried out the bare minerals lip plumpers before but this one I need to take home with me because it's a light pink color with hot pink glitter inside and silver wow so freaking gorgeous if I can't get buxom I might as well try out you know other brands and what is this right here these are the chubby sticks priced at eight dollars I believe these are usually 30 bucks each and I recently tried out the pretty vulgar lip plumpers and the milk I think it's pretty good but I'm pretty pretty sure I'm going to end up loving the Bare Minerals one and it looks like they have more of them up here. This one is Head Turner. I was hoping to find other colors. Sparkle Plug. And the next one is Inspiration. So there's actually two more colors to look at. So Inspiration is more of like a, you know, rosy color, which is really gorgeous. Don't you guys think over any lipstick? I can definitely see myself using this one as well. Hopefully their lip bumpers are good, but let's go ahead and move on to Spark Plug. Honestly, this one is my least favorite. So it's like a very light pink color with silver glitter inside. I'm just going to go with these two right here. I feel like it's the best colors, but don't forget to let me know your favorite. And real quickly, let's go ahead and check up here. So this one is 15. I know you guys love this brand so much. It's their lipstick and they never put the name on it, which is very weird. They also have the molten lip color. This one is called Fire Amber and it's priced at 10 bucks. So if you guys like any of these, definitely let me know. And here are the white, you know, lip glosses. I went over the colors in previous videos as well another molten lip color in nicole this one is ten dollars they have bodyography oh my goodness you guys the lip glosses this time so they have purple with rose gold glitter there's like gray with glitter blue with glitter rose gold doll face again and here are the other bumping glosses from the brand elf which is pretty good as well and up here is the milk lip bumpers so i recently got lola they only have two colors here so like dark purple and like a true purple color and i also found 
now. That's pretty much everything that is new. So let me go ahead and get these two right here. I'm literally so excited. And here's the Valentine's Day section. So pretty much I showed you everything over here, but this one is definitely new. It says love you lots. How cute. And there's like a wild cherry palette. There's Coca-Cola Morphe, Revolution, Beauty Concepts, you know, our favorite brand. Oh my goodness, you guys. I love looking at these body scrubs. Highly recommend for six bucks. And this one is new. So look and find Jalentine Cherry Blossom. And the next one says you are just my type red roses. And the reason why I'm over here is because I found the Nourish Bar. So the Berry Fusion Body Polish with Raspberry, Blueberry, Coconut, and Strawberry. That probably smells so amazing. And it's priced at six. So you guys, I just found Valentine's Day nails that I really want to wear in the month of February. But before I show you guys these really cute skinny dip Valentine's Day nails, if you are enjoying this video so far, like always, definitely give it a really big thumbs up for me. And don't forget, we are on the road to 1 million subscribers. So make sure you hit that bell subscribe because I post everyday shopping videos. So can't wait to go on this everyday journey with you guys. But let me go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to be wearing in the month of February, which is right now, literally. And I've been holding out for Valentine's Day nails. So I'm literally so happy right now. So they actually have a few options here, but this one is definitely calling my name. So a very light pink color with red hearts. I mean, it's so simple and cute. I was planning on going to Ulta and paying like 10. So wow, I'm very happy. Look at this one, red and pink heart manicures. So the tip is pink and red. And then it goes down to a red heart. They actually have a few of these, but let me go ahead and show you like the last one. So it's light pink with the red hearts on the tip. Wow, so freaking beautiful. And it looks like people are buying these, but I'm going to bring home the last light pink one. I definitely need this in my life. It's too cute. But look down here. Oh my goodness, you guys, so gorgeous. Don't you guys love these too? This one is only $5. So tempting to get this one, but you know we need hearts for the month of love. I am so happy right now, you guys. I just can't believe how the shopping spree is going for me. I'm literally finding everything I want. They even have nude pink nail. Oh my gosh, you guys, Ardell. This one is Gel Effect. And I can't believe I found these because they're usually over 10 bucks at Ulta. This one has bling and it's only $7. So while I'm here, I'm going to buy the Masterpiece. And actually, I just remembered the Masterpiece ones are $15 at Ulta. So very, very happy that I found this set. I'm probably going to wear these, you know, in the month of March because it's blue and pink so why not this tj maxx keeps on blowing me away so look at these nail polishes so if you guys don't like press on nails then obviously come over here and pick out your favorite color but most of these are priced at four so almost the same price as going to five below to be honest and way cheaper than going to target because you know at target their nail polish is like ten dollars each look at this one so gorgeous on the toes so it's finally time to move on to, you know, the hair accessories. And I have to say, they have some really cute ones out. I mean, there's hot pink, floral print, bling, pearls, scrunchie. This TJ Maxx just blew me away today. Like usually I'm so disappointed, but today I am not disappointed whatsoever. I love coming to TJ Maxx. I swear it's one of my best shopping videos, like every single time. There's even like butterfly clips. But do you guys see anything so far? Please leave a comment down below. But everyone pretty much bought out the Val Valentine's Day you know stuff but I just found fluffy scrunchies oh my goodness you get white gray pink hot pink a dark pink color this one is only five bucks like what a deal super tempting but I have way too many you know scrunchies at the house I probably should slow down not even kidding and look up here tie-dye so freaking cute and of course they have like the headbands and the Valentine's Day ones so adorable I'm usually never impressed with the shoe section at TJ Maxx, but you definitely have to dig to find the good stuff. Look at those Toms down there, so cute, but I look funny in Toms. But you guys, bling sandals, so cute. And these Nicole Miller wedges are adorable as well. And how cute are these for the spring and summer? You can't go wrong, you guys. So many beautiful options. There's even Blowfish, Calvin Klein, Juicy Couture. How beautiful, price at 60, so from this brand. And it's my size, but you know, I never wear heels. I probably should start. But anyways, look down here. They have rose gold sandals, pearl ones, Calvin Klein, guess. So if you guys see anything at all, don't forget to leave a comment down below.
so here's another side full of shoes you guys so i have to say i found some cute ones i usually never wear flats but how adorable are these and they're priced at 20 and there's memory foam so you can definitely walk in those for a while i remember seeing these in my previous video it's all gold price at 25 i can't wait until they bring in like rose gold because i'm definitely all in if they do and they also have like you know these red chucks which i recently got so these are like knockoffs of converses but you save a lot of money so highly recommend they feel just like converses i'm not even going to lie and look at this one you guys so cute with the glitter so white mountain and they also have red puma shoes toms again and down there they have puma so really cute and i'm not sure if you guys like these but it's the brand nicole miller the only reason i don't like these is because the back you have to zip it up and this usually irritates my foot so i don't like to wear stuff like this but if you guys do it's 25 dollars the only time i will wear stuff like this is if i'm going out for dinner or something you know and on the other side they have these pink heels which i've recently got highly recommend they're so comfy and over here they have puma and this brand which we usually see and i just found a really cute pair of shoes over here it's from the brand sincerely jewels and it's priced at 25 so let's go ahead and try these on real quick oh my gosh you guys these are actually very comfy for the price point you can tell that there's real quality comparing to like raw shoes so these are so beautiful oh my goodness imagine with a pair of jeans like yes please and at first i thought these were my size too but it's not but these are definitely my size and they have like rose gold flip-flops too which are so adorable i'm not going to lie i'm very picky whenever it comes to shoes and it's so hard to find cute ones at tj Maxx. So I usually never look at, you know, the mugs, but I have to say they got in some new like Valentine's Day ones. Loads of love. That is the cutest thing ever. Free spirit. Think happy. Be happy. Wonder seeker. How adorable is that? They even have a dog coffee mug. Mix it juice. Oh my goodness. I love these clear mugs for like matcha. So highly recommend. And these are only six bucks. So what a deal. I feel like choose happiness. That is the cutest mug I've ever seen. And look over here. Oh my gosh. It's pink with like the rainbow lips. How how adorable is that and you have to be kidding me i just found a hello kitty coffee mug and look at the handle it's a bow this one is priced at eight dollars oh my goodness this is literally the cutest coffee mug i have ever seen don't you guys love it too wow it's so freaking adorable definitely let me know if you guys like it but i used to hoard like coffee mugs so i'm trying not to but this one someone is definitely going to buy and look over here you guys so cute i love the shade of orange and it's priced at five dollars so really really good deal but if you guys like to collect you need to get every single hello kitty mug so cute so I can't believe I just hit the jackpot whenever it comes to Ray Dunn. So I just found a pink heart coffee mug. This one is literally so gorgeous for only $7. And I can see myself hanging this, you know, on my coffee mug holder. So you guys love it too? Oh my goodness, that beautiful shade of pink. Very, very tempting. Like this one is very hard to walk away from. It's so freaking cute. Please let me know your thoughts. And they also have my love, Chicks Dig Me, Expert Hunter. And down here they have Love is Human, has sweet mia more easter in blue like ray dunn has it going on wow i think i need to bring this home even though i don't need it and you have to be kidding they also have pink hands you guys oh my gosh i really want to get a pink set but i really want to wait to get a new set until we get a house you know so yeah it's really hard to stay away from this section Now, this is definitely a must-have, so it's priced at 300 bucks. They also have gray, which I like more because it just looks nicer, I feel like. But, like I said, we have to wait to get a house before I start buying a bunch of, like, furniture. But TJ Maxx definitely has some nice ones. And I think I said 300 specifically it's 350 so almost pushing 400 after taxes. But these are really, really nice. So I just made it to the clearance section, like always. I'm very curious to see what I will find over here. So I just made it to the clothes, you guys, and they actually have really cute ones on display. How adorable for Valentine's Day, don't you guys think? And look at this dress, priced at 20. Of course, they have outfits, you know, for 17, so the sport bra and the shorts. Look at this denim jacket for 25, and they're starting to bring in like summer stuff, so that is super exciting. I usually look at the clearance section, but lately I haven't been very lucky. And actually, look at this cover-up; it's literally perfect. Don't you guys love it too? 
too for a bathing suit. So you just throw this over the bathing suit and it's priced at 20, so really good deal. And I like this one too because it opens. So it's blue and white, priced at 20. Look at this denim dress, only $20, you guys. I swear they put the best stuff in the front. They even have like maroon, there's red dresses. Look over here, you guys, more cute summer tops. I love them all. And of course they have these crop tops too. Most of these are priced at 15 at least. So I just got done looking at, you know, clothes for the girls because I really wanted to get them some Valentine's Day outfits, but I swear this location barely has any Valentine's Day outfits. And if they do, they don't have their size. So I probably have to go to like Target to get them a Valentine's Day outfit. And I really wanted to get extra things for their baskets, but TJ Maxx doesn't have anything. I'm actually pretty disappointed about that. And I'm just looking around you guys for other stuff, but you know what? I probably should call it right here because my cart is completely full and I think it's because of that rose gold purse it's super big but don't forget to comment down below what you guys plan on buying and also leave a question as well because don't forget I'm going to answer one question in every single video but once again if you guys enjoyed it definitely give it a big thumbs up for me and if you are new don't forget to hit the bell and subscribe because we're on the road to 1 million so I will see you guys in tomorrow's shopping spree